All right, uh, this is Seth Koskoma's Technology Thermodynamics Homework number five, which is activity and activity models and all the stuff associated with that. Number three asks, okay, um, show that the Wilson model, which is up there, satisfies the Lewis Randall reference state. Okay, now I have GE, not RT natural log of gamma one. Why don't I have RT natural log of gamma one and RT natural log of gamma two? I don't need them to show that it's thermodynamically consistent. I mean, sorry, um, that it satisfies the reference state. Okay, according, so my reference state says what? It says that, well, my reference state in general is an ideal solution. And GE says um, that my Gibbs free energy minus my ideal solution. If I am an ideal solution, GE is equal to GIS minus GIS, which means it's equal to zero. Okay, no matter what. But now, how I define an ideal solution, that's where it gets a little different, a little tricky, a little goofy. All right. So how can I, um, how do I treat an ideal solution with the Lewis Randall reference state? Well, that says that a pure system is ideal. It says pure. And how do I define pure? Well, as x1 goes to 1 and x2 goes to 0, that's pure. And so I plug it in. Okay, minus rt. So I've got 1 times natural log 1 plus lambda 1, 2 times 0 plus zero times natural log of zero plus lambda two one times one. Well, that leaves me minus RT. I got natural log of one. What's the natural log of one? That's right, zero. And then I have, well, zero times whatever's left. So I have plus zero. Doesn't matter what that is. And zero plus zero is times minus RT is equal to zero. Yay! Okay, so that's half of it. But I have to do both, okay? It has to be like, no, you know, if I have two components, it has to be satisfied when either one of them is pure, otherwise my reference state is not consistent. Okay. And so I have to redo this with the other component pure. Also, with that, GE goes to x2 goes to 1, as a result, x1 goes to 0, which equals minus RT. Um, I've got 0 times natural log of 0 plus gamma lambda 1, 2 times 1 plus 1 times natural log of uh, 1 plus lambda 2, 1 times 0, okay, and I get, again, that's 0, and that's 1 times natural log of 1, which is also 0, which that means it's equal to 0 also for the same math before, okay, and that's all I need to do to verify that this satisfies my reference state, because that has to happen, otherwise I can't use this because it's not consistent with the rest of my notation.